Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I have a very special guest based from Egypt and he's currently working as a freelancer data scientist. He's going to be with us to talk about the benefits of outsourcing in data science industry. Hi, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Hello, I'm doing okay. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. I'm fantastic. Yes, finally nice to meet you. Yeah, we've been planning this podcast for a long time and now we're here. Thank you. Yes, finally. Yeah. Can you tell us what are you up to and how's your business going? Yeah, everything actually is going pretty good. Um, I'm just working, you know, like as a freelancer, sometimes uh, I'm dealing with some clients and stuff. Um, I like it. It's, it's going well. And also, don't forget to study as always. You have to study, keep studying and studying. It's doing good. Okay, that's awesome. I mean, for those people who don't know what data science is, can you tell us a little bit about data science, how it works, and how it can actually help a business? Actually, the data scientist is a rule that most of the companies these days can't just uh, ignore it or can't just live without it because in this era, the data is the source of the power. If you have the data for something, you can deal with everything, literally everything. So the data scientist's job is literally to arrange the data, to analyze it, to predict the future values, to uh, try to solve some data problems that the company has. When you have a lot and a lot of, row, of rows of data, you need someone or some team to deal with it. And this team is, it depends on the company, They some of them call it uh, the, the, the data team, some some of them call it the, the, the machine learning engineers or, or the data engineers, you know, it depends on the, the, the position itself and the requirements. But uh, the main idea of the data science is to use the data to product something, to use the data to get a final model that's gonna predict the value that the, the, the values or it's gonna recommend something for the user or it's gonna uh, you know work on on something itself and solve it. Uh, I'm not so specific right now. I'm just talking about general. Mm. general. It's a huge branch of, of, of the artificial intelligence and uh, I feel like the future is how to deal with the data and I feel like if you need to run with the future I think you really need to learn something about the data it's not just about data science or machine learning you can't learn about data engineering or data arrangement data analysis it's all the data you know so I'm thinking why did you end up in that career why did you chose to be a data scientist okay it actually started uh, and when I was in the second year in the college, like three years from now, uh, <clears throat> I remember that I started uh, studying programming on like four years or five years from now, and I was uh, I was so passionate about it. I started as a web designer, but I didn't find myself in this track a lot. So okay. I tried to find for something that it's more fitting on me and so more uh, connecting with me by somehow. So uh, I started to learn about machine learning, try try to make them predict something, or try to make the model uh, be useful to to finish a final product or to solve a specific problem. And you finish all of this and see like it's from your own handmade and it looks good. It, it feels good to use some mathematical algorithms. Just in the end, uh, you're gonna predict something in the program in the programming way. It feels good. So I just get in more interested in this career. So yeah, I, I try to more study about it. It's not it's not that easy, but it's not impossible. So I started to study more mathematics. I started to study more theories. I started to study more, and it took a lot of time for me to start even my first project. But I, the whole thing that I was thinking of. Just let's make this track on. Like just I was I'm doing the some the thing that I love, so I don't care about anything else. That yeah. 
you know what the way i'm talking to you right now you seem to be really passionate about what you're doing so so what is your favorite part of being a data scientist what's your i mean i mean what do you like most working in this industry um mostly i like the new ideas uh, to work in not just as a data scientist to any uh, any branch of the artificial intelligence uh, track uh, I feel like it's more uh, makes you more that that makes you more passionate about the new ideas like every day you're gonna find mm -hmm. out a new paper a new research papers that someone or some university published and you're gonna start to read that and you're gonna find out there is that's a great idea and then after this you're gonna think like Maybe I, I have something, really something in my life that I really need to automate it, or something in my life that it needs, uh, uh, it needs a real AI model to solve it, or I have a data and I need to predict something from myself, or I, I have to collect the data for something and I want to know what is that the results of that. That's all like makes you a little bit passionate and this is my favorite favorite part in all the artificial intelligence uh tracks and yes it just it feels good you know like to to keep being passionate about something it's great i know you have a team you told me that before and can you tell us about your goals your mission like what is the deeper reason behind it. It just started from a graduation project and I started to feel like I want to build something after that. Like I'm not just gonna use it as a graduation project and I'm gonna pass from the college and that's all. I was thinking to use this project to go some somewhere else to start up maybe or to make it uh, to the market and publish it. I, I, I have this thought uh, so I thought like maybe it's gonna to have a team like you can't do anything alone okay? <laughs> so when you have a team you have a people that are passionate about different tracks different careers not just about the data size about the Android about the websites about the everything you know like uh, you have to build the whole application right now or you have to build a website so you have to think about the team you know once you got the team you got that, that the work done. We are five. We are, we are uh, five members, and I'm so good about that. And I'm so glad that someday this team's gonna grow more up, and this team's gonna achieve something, and this team maybe gonna get a new members someday. And yeah, I hope things will go well. Can you tell us about your team member? Like what is what is their role in your startup? Yes, of course. We have the the UI UX designer that he's uh, his duty is to make some uh, designs for the application, the user experience, the user interface, and all this stuff. And uh, he's doing it well. Okay, and uh, we have also, the, of course, the, the 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 Flutter developer or the Android iOS developer that he's going to develop the application itself. Uh, I have another AI uh, AI person in my uh, in my team, and uh, he's doing so well. He, we are in the same track, uh, but he's he's more into to uh, uh, this part of the the the, the, the AI uh, computer vision and and the, uh, the speech recognition and this stuff. And I'm more into the data part, you know. So we are mm -hmm. all about making each other co um, complete. And we have also, of course, the back-end developer. And I hope someday that I'm going to join some one of uh, web developers. I'm going to join us. I hope so. And this is going to be really great for us. And yeah, um, we're trying to make the job done. Mm -hmm. I hope I can meet your team soon. I hope to work with them someday. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, in the perspective of your client, for example, US client, what, why do you think outsourcing their data science project to other country is a wise decision? Like for example, US outsourcing their project to Egypt, why do you think it's a wise decision? Sometimes it depends on the, the cost for the, the, the employer. Uh, like sometimes it's going to be like wanting to decrease all that the, the expenses. So it's going to try to outsource some people. Or maybe sometimes it's about the efficiency. Like uh, uh, it's not that easy to find uh, a lot of uh, efficient 
in this track that it's really starting and it's really beginning so sometimes you start to just publish it you start to, to need like i need a data scientist here or i need a web developer here or whatever i need someone here to fill this position during this question so i'm gonna say yes it's uh, it's a wise decision uh, it's all about depending on the client, but it's in the end of the day, it's a wide decision to try someone who's working uh, on some kind of task. Maybe you're gonna find the one that you're really searching for, and it's more chances for the clients and for the, the freelancers out there. Uh, yeah, so I think it's a wide decision. What is the best advice you can give to a client if they're looking to outsource their project? Uh, so the trust is the key. Um, I can't advise them to trust. I can't advise them to to start thinking like this guy is not gonna hurt you. This guy's work is to to to, to do the service that you really want from him to do, to do the task that you need. Yeah, thank you. That's a good thing. How about th I think that's going to be the last question. What advice you can give to people or? to young people out there aspiring to be a data scientist like you? Uh, so I want to tell them in our track it's so theoretical and so practical. It needs more study so be patient. You're not going to mm -hmm. be just like take a course and you're not going to work with that. You're not going to take a course and start going to freelance frameworks and finding for a project. It's not working like that. So you need really to study hard. You need really to wait while you're waiting and studying you have to think that you're really passionate about this because there is like juvie there is a really vibe out there about the, the ai and the data science yeah. and a lot of people going there and finding out like they are not getting a job or they're not getting money from it so it's not about the vibe it's not about the people who's going there pushing themselves to uh, to see this track they really have to be passionate about this track because it's so long and you have to love what you're doing all this this time like i'm studying in this track for three years like at the naked january i'm going to be three years in this track and i consider myself as a, as a still starting <laughs> data scientist so you can't just like say like i'm gonna take a course right now and i'm gonna work with that it's not like that you have to study well you have to be trustworthy for your client and i hope uh, our track is gonna be full of the trustworthy people that they can really work with that i mean i'm looking forward for that to happen and uh, you know it's really amazing to talk to you and i feel that we are sharing some passion to something that we are doing right now and i hope we can work someday we can work on a project we sure. never know you'll never know sure. so for those people that are watching right now how we can reach you out i mean how can we still talk to you yes you can find my you can send me an email my gmail or something and you can message me on linkedin uh, or facebook i'm always active i'm gonna be so happy to talk with you uh anyone anytime just reach me out okay so what service you are providing can you tell us more about it yes i can make a data science projects data analysis machine learning uh computer vision projects i can work with a team uh, a group of people who's trying to finish some project i can join them i have a uh, good experience in, uh, in the data science and the data analysis so, yeah that's that's my services and i hope uh some client is gonna reach me out i'm gonna be so happy and so glad about it so oh yes looking forward and god bless you thank you for joining with us today